Hello and welcome back to the Matrix Goal Parametric video series. In today's video we will make a channel set ring with princess cats and we will make it uh, hollow so we will have a light, uh, a light uh, ring. Even the rings used to be very heavy. Today the one that we are going to make is going to be quite light. So I will start with the green rail and then I will also use the outside green rail I will make it a bit thinner from the bottom, very good. And now I will use just two profiles. So I will place one at the very bottom. I will select something more squarish like this one. I want stones about two point between two point two and two point five. We will see then what we add here. Okay, let's see how does this looks like. I like a taper like this. So let's see what is gonna this ring. What is gonna weigh this ring? Let me go to perspective. So if I select this ring, it's gonna weigh me five point almost seven in fourteen characters goal. So what I will do is, as you can see, five point seven. Let's see if we can reduce this weight. I will go to the profile editor. I will go to the right view and just like this and I went to make this ring lighter so I will make it hollow very easy to make it hollow with a profile editor you can get any shape that you want you can adapt it exactly to what your needs are so as you can see you can see it in real time Probably what I should do is drop uh, this part here down because we need to set the stones and we need a bit more of consistency here. So let me select these three points in one go so I can move them. And now you see that I have here more room to set the stones. As you know, you can save this profile. I don't need to do it now because this is just a video for now, but I have to validate. And I validate the command. So now we have this nice flow to hollow the ring. And now we will see. So before the weight was 5.7. Now if I click again, is 5 grams. This is what I was looking for. Now we can keep working with the ring. If later on we want to make any change, we will be able to make it. So let's gonna set the stones. I will go to the gems. I will use the gems on ring rail. I will go to the front. Sorry, no, I will use the gems on curve. This will be the curve that I will be using. I will go to the front view. As you can see, the stones here are doing a weird behavior. This is because the gem orientation is not the right one. We want them looking at the origin. And I will just uh, change the... From here, I need to change the orientation. Not in the reverse direction. So we start from here. And now I will go to Princess, and as I said at the very beginning, I will get probably 2.25. Let's see how does this looks like. Can go even a bit bigger. Let's try 2.5. Yeah, I think that this bit like this will be okay. I cannot go too far because 
the metal is getting thinner here. Now just let me go like this. Be sure that the thickness that we have is enough. So probably I will have to change the, the ring rail. Let me see, it seems that it's not following the right curve. Let me be sure that the one that I selected is the right one. Okay. German addition to the origin, so now it's perfect. Run. I don't want any space between the stones. I like a stone and uh, reaching this this level. What I will have to do though is just I don't like the stone being too close to the finger size, so let me get that sentry trail. Change it probably two millimeters. This looks better. Now I just need to adapt the stones because I want I don't want I don't want any gap between the stones. It doesn't look nice once you set the stones to have this gap here. So I can try to go a bit farther down. Oh, look, perfect, just with a few millimeters. Now the center stone is just in the middle, so everything is centered. The gap is super small, so this is some, something that is not going to be noticeable. So let me just be that sure that from here looks okay. Right. So now I'm going to use the, from cutters, I'm going to use the channel cutter. I'm going to place it up to here. And what I will do is just change this profile to flat. Let me just close that so I have more space to design. And flat from here. I can go even a bit more further. So, as you can see, I have this space between what I have cut or inside the ring. So I need to keep a bit of metal. I will show you now once I do the boolean. So, solid boolean difference between this part and this part, and let me hide the stones. It's always important to keep a bit of metal here, because if we don't do that, then what will happen is that the ring will be uh, too weak, so we need strength in this part here. So when we do these cuts, we need to be sure that we have enough metal, uh, then once we clean and cast the ring, the ring still keeps the the strength that we need. So I will do now just a cut as for the stones. I will just go to the cutters and I will use this one. I will try to be sure that the girdle, I make it a bit smaller so I don't get any interference here. We can even try to do this part from the bottom more like this. So it will look nicer. Not the rotation, just this. 
Okay. Let's try the boolean. Let's see how the boolean looks like. So I go to the solid. Boolean difference between this part and this part. Okay. Again, let's gonna check that we have enough thinness. Very good. So we have the cuts that will be easier for us to place the stones. When we are setting uh, princess cuts, it's good to have this reference so we know where we exactly need to place the stone. So that if the stones has the right dimensions, we know that it will be perfect. So I think that it looks very nice now. As you can see, the ring is hollow. Now, because the software is parametric, after all these operations has been done, if we still want to go and have a bit more of metal, this area here, because we want the ring to be stronger, we just need to select the curve, go to Edit, and again, we use the profile editor. And the only thing that we need to do is just what we did before. We select here. Just keep in mind that the booleans are done, everything is done, but I'm not sure that this is going to be strong, strong enough. So I want to be sure that I have enough metal to play with it. So I validate. And with just a few clicks, we have added more metal in this area. As you can see now, it's thicker. So this for any jeweler is perfect. Look, what a nice flow that we have here, hollowing the ring. We have the metal enough to set these stones. It's important always to keep in mind that we are not just designing, we are also making jewelry. So these uh, dimensions are very important. And we also have all the cuts for the stone, so we know exactly how and where to place them. So this ring, with all the cuts, with everything, is totally um, parametric. I can go back to this profile, even I have made, uh, made it hollow. I can go back to the profile placer, edit, and I can make it a bit wider. If I just want a bit more of metal, just one click, everything keeps the same. I have more metal here, so very good. Or now, if I want to change the finger size, I can change the finger size from here. Of course, I, would, I will have to adapt the stones, but this is not a big uh, deal. So I go to a number 10. As you can see, everything has, has been recalculated to a number 10. So very easy. It's uh, great to have these tools parametrically. Uh, I will go back to number seven. And now here we have a lot of different options. So now once you have done this file with matrix goal, again, you can open it up anytime and you can change anything that you want. You want to change the stones, you want to make them smaller, so you can come here and now instead two millimeters I will go to two millimeters stones. As I said before, we will have to adapt them from here. I will go to the front view. I will bring them up and the only thing that I need to do is just, as I said before, be sure that we close the gap between these ones and these ones. All right, so now I just go here and I do like this. So let's close the gap.
and be sure that we are at the same level. Okay, I think that we have now. Good, very good. As I said, so now we have changed the stone size. Again, we have another ring very easily because we have changed the stone size. The only thing that we need to do now is just to change the profile from here. I go to edit and I will make it a bit more narrower. Again, a bit more. And there we go. So we have now one one is not that we have just uh, one ring. We have a tool to make channel set rings. This is the important part of this software. We have one tool to make this ring because from here we can change the stone size. We can change the stone shape. So instead, princess, if the customer wants rounds we just need to come to rounds and in just one click we get rounds all right so as you can see this is something that we are not just building one piece we are building a tool to make this kind of uh, designs so anytime that you need to make a ring similar to like uh, to this one you just need to open this file, you can save it here. You just need to open this file, make the changes that you need, either a finger size, a stone size, a stone shape, a profile shape. You can make it hollow, you can make it uh, solid. And just playing with the tools that you have in the parametric site, you can accomplish anything that you want. So I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.